Okay. All right, guys, what we're going to try to do is show you some stuff that will help you become a better horse person. The reason it might is because you'll understand the horse better and you'll understand yourself better. The, the thing about horses and people is we don't always go together so great at the beginning because of our instincts. What does our instincts have to do with it? The way you react to fear and the way the horse reacts to fear are two totally different things. What does a horse do when fear triggers their panic button? Where do they, what do they do? Yeah, I'm asking you guys. What do they do? What would a horse do if they panicked and spooked? What, what would they do? No, they they take off like a Chevy or a Corvette. They would go as fast as they could somewhere to get out of Dodge. All right. Now, what do humans do when our panic button goes off? We never flight. We are cradle position, rigid people. When fear triggers us, we go, huh, like this. Same way as if you're driving in a car, the uh, handle up here above the window and the brake that's not there. This is a, a human being that's panicking a car that's not driving. Okay? You've got your hand on their shoulder, tell them to look out for whatever they're not looking out for. You're hitting the brake and you're... What's happening is your brain's saying, go rigid to save your life. Their brain says, run somewhere other than where you're at to save your life. So that's why we don't do so well at first. Because if we're sitting on their back and they go to Texas with us, our first thing is to turn into a rigid cradle position and we're clinging up here on their neck and we're out of control. We have no brakes, no balance, no nothing. We're just praying to God that somehow we survive. So that's not a good situation. So this is what we're going to try to do is improve that situation by knowledge. All right, so what we want to do is we want to learn about the way the horse thinks and what he does, and then correct the things that he does that's dangerous for us. And then we want to learn what we do that's dangerous for us when we ride them. Now, the beauty of it is the horse can be fixed pretty easily. What does that tell us? It's left up to us then to fix us. And we can do it too, but we have more intelligence, so we think more about it and make more mistakes. They're much more simpler than we are. Okay, so what we do with the horse, to go to the horse, we bring them into a round pin. The reason for the round pin is the horse cannot leave while we're trying to teach it something. Okay, if I was out in a big 100 acre pasture and I spooked this horse, she would just take off and, and disappear. I couldn't train her if she's not near me. Can't do it. Okay, so this round pin is my tool to keep her near me. What I'm going to do in here is I'm going to try to get three things from the horse. I'm going to try to lower the horse's fear level from its instinctual level. Its instinctual level says run away as far as I can to safety. I want her to think I need to look at what I fear. That's what I need to do. And as we work her in the round pen, we can lower that fear down pretty much permanently to where it's just down to where if you go, boo! Now, if a horse wasn't trained at all, it would already be through that fence. It'd be gone. Okay, so we want to lower that fear level down. The second thing we want the horse to learn how to do in here is to learn how to think. They actually have the ability to think, but they don't use it. Why? You, you mentioned it at breakfast. They stop using their intellect. As soon as they need to get out of Dodge, their fear drives them away. And they don't think about, oh, that was a grasshopper. They don't think it. They just move it. So we need to get the horse to learn how to think. They have it, they just don't use it. Once they start using it, they become an incredibly dependable animal. Okay, just like a dog. Okay? The third thing that we want this horse to come to the conclusion of while we're in here is that we are a horse. Why do we want the horse to think we're a horse? What would be the reason for that? Anybody know? Well, they feel comfortable That's one of the things. They're going to feel more comfortable around us. The more we act like a horse, the more they'll... Let us be a horse around them. But we not only want them to get comfortable with us, we want them to respect us. And what is it that we have to have in order for that to happen? The control. And that's called what? The alpha. the alpha position. The alpha position. Humans use it. Horses use it. Dogs use it. Almost every species has some type of alpha system that they use. So we want to be the alpha in this herd of two horses. 
We want this horse to think, you're the boss, you tell me when we're going to Walmart and when we're coming home. That's what we want the horse. We don't want the horse to say, I'm ready to go home now and you don't have all your shopping done because then you're going to be walking home. So that's what we want those three things to happen in here. Those are the initial three things that are helpful to get for us so that we have a safe animal to ride. Because no matter how good a rider you are, if your horse isn't safe, you can fall off. No fault of your own usually, but you're gonna, you can fall off because the horse is going to do something you just totally do not expect. All right, so I'm going to try to work her in here. Now this horse is extremely done, okay? That's why she's standing here. I may not even be able to get her to move her feet because <laughs> that's how done she is. But I'm going to try because, well, it just will be fun. Now if I can't do it, we'll just jump to the riding part. Like tired? Not tired. She's at the point where I want her to be before or after I get done. Oh, I see. In other words, if someone comes into your office, you want them to walk out of your door already cured, and she's cured, okay? But I'm gonna try to see if I can get some movement still in her. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta make some motion around here and see if I can't get her to move her feet. She may not do it for me. Ah! See, now this horse is not scared of nothing, is she? But I'm going to try to get her to move my feet. Come on. Go on. She might get going. I'm going to try to help her. There we go. Okay, she's going to cooperate by the skin of my teeth, as they say. All right. Now, an interesting thing to learn is horses generally, 90% of them, will always run off to our left. Now, why is that? 90% of the horses are the same as we are. Raise your hand if you're right-handed. Raise your hand if you're a lefty. Okay? We have 50-50 out there, but if there was 10 people sitting there, we'd have probably 1 in 10 usually. Okay? Horses are right-eyed. What does that mean? That means that 90% of their fear is located in this eye from birth. This is the passive eye on most of them. There are lefty horses, though. We've got some. All right, so now she's moving her feet because I'm putting pressure on her hip, making her move forward, okay? It's like I'm chasing her like a lion would. Now I'm gonna make her change directions because I changed over to her shoulder. And I'm going a little slow here because I don't want to slip and fall. <laughs> I, so I, I caught up with her is what happened in her mind. Oh, that lion caught up with me, so I gotta change directions and keep running the other way. It's important that we can make them turn any direction we want to in here. Not their choice, but ours. Typically, if this horse was green and just came in here out of the pasture for the first time, we'd have to work this side a lot more than the other side. Okay, now I want her to go back the other way. Oops, be careful, sweetie. She says, it's slick out here. I know, we're going slow. All right, now those two turns would be natural turns from birth. Turn away from the fear and run, okay? When a horse starts the thinking process of not being able to get away from me, every time she looks, the lion's still there. That's when they're going to actually decide, I'm going to take a look at this creature that's chasing me. And now we're going to see if she'll turn towards us. There, good girl. See, she faced her fear right there. That's an important first step for the training of the horse is to learn to face their fear. We have the same problem. If you're afraid of heights, what do you avoid? Ladders. If you're afraid of the water, what do you avoid? The water itself. I'm one of those people. <laughs> so whatever you're afraid of, you typically avoid it, okay? All right, now I want her to turn towards me and go back the other direction. Come on. See if she'll... No, you're not done yet. You got one more turn. She says, what are we doing here? Think it through. Think it through. Nope, nope, go that way. Nope, 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 nope. All right, keep going that way. So she's, she's not wanting to, to do that last turn, so I'm going to make her move. See, now she's licking and chewing, so she's saying, I think I got it this time. 
I want you to go back that way. Oh, you almost did it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn your shoulders. All right, go. Go. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to make her do that last turn just for the simple fact that it's slick in here and she knows what she's doing. But the point is, she should have turned the other way and went, and we would have done it if she was needing that done. But she's basically saying, look, Dad, I know all this stuff. Why am I having to do this today? Okay, so that, that's where we are. Now, what we're trying to get across here is in that short little segment. If this horse was new, that might take hours, days. It usually won't take months anymore. In the old days, it might take months because they never worked on their fear. They worked on their, can you take me on your back? That's all they worked on. They sacked them out. And they would ride them and they'd spook at the least little thing and you'd be lucky to live through most days. Now, with the smartness of all those great trainers we got in the world with resistance free, that's what this is teaching the horse is let's us be partners. I'm your boss. You're my employee. Okay, I'm going to treat you good, but you also have to listen to me or I'm going to move your feet and they don't like to have their feet moved. They'd rather stand still.